you guys were saying like, hey, Jay, I can't influence because I don't have enough followers. And I yeah. Hi, welcome to my vlogs. My name's Jay, and I hope you're having a great day. These vlogs are just supposed to relieve your stress, you know, your worries about social media. You just put it on my stress, you know, just... Let's just share a stretch. I'm taking you guys along my day. Whatever I title this video, which is probably why you click for it. I promise I am not a clickbait YouTuber. I have all my value in the end, but I like to actually just kind of bring you through the journey. If you guys might be wondering why my videos have been changing or I just talk a lot, it's just because I feel like you guys don't need to have every day just like a growth, growth, growth. Like you guys need some motivation, some entertainment. That's what my channel was particularly made for. However, if you like to skip through this, feel free to like. I feel like it's important to really circulate everything you need to know about Instagram growth and social media. I care about you guys, okay? So like this video, subscribe, thanks. So before I explain all the Instagram tips that you wanna hear, I just wanna let you know the agenda for today so you know what the fuck's going on. So I'm first going to Santa Monica to shoot with Regan, my photographer, and then I have a video shoot with Macy, another YouTuber I actually really love, and then I actually have a important event on Monday I have to prepare for. So you're gonna be in the just of this as I try to transition my business, and I'm traveling, and I'm working, and trying to make fun memories, you know? So we're gonna dive right into the Instagram tips. I'm gonna order my Uber, and we're gonna see you there. Oh, my Uber's here. Okay guys, I'm here at Earth Cafe with... Say hey. We're taking photos at Santa Monica. I ordered this. This is my first time at Earth. So let's see if it's good. <laughs> Regan for coming, she's so sweet. I'm currently eating my avocado toast on Santa Monica. Okay, so this is where we're actually diving into the Instagram stuff. I promise it wasn't a clickbait YouTuber. Here's the question. Hey Jade, I've been watching your YouTube videos for a while. I have a problem, I can't seem to find my niche. I love to do fashion, but I also wanna do lifestyle. So, this girl's Megan. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I'm gonna be very honest, Megan, when I look at your profile, and I, this is not a roasting session, but you only have three posts. And I'm gonna be very straightforward. You can't pick a niche if you have just three posts. Let me explain. A niche isn't saying you're doing lifestyle, you're not doing fashion, that's an industry. People get that shit mixed up. What's a niche is the demographic, the targeting of the audience. A niche is a segment of a market. So you have to understand, your niche isn't lifestyle. That's just your demand, right? So you have to see, just because you have three posts doesn't mean you don't, you don't necessarily have to design now. I think you find your niche in the mix of starting an industry. So what I would do, Megan, is start with fashion and lifestyle and see where it takes you. You guys have to understand, picking a niche has nothing to do whether you do photography, whether you're a model, that's not a niche. Your niche is the targeting. Man, I how many times has I said the word niche? I hope that makes sense, Megan. And I feel like you have three posts, so do not like, it is hard. Like even I'm always changing my niche. So the point of this is saying, post more and you can find what people like more and then you can target it down later. Because if I would say my niche is the social media world. But I target people that are struggling with growth on Instagram who follow the age range of, you know, 15 to 30. Okay, so the next thing we can talk about is another tip I really want to show you guys is if you're an artist or you produce a certain type of content, maybe people only want to see your work. So what if you want to add a personal touch? Now the thing is, when you're an artist, you have to post your music. So this is a question from Georgina. Hi. So she's an artist, but she posts more than just music. She posts pictures of herself. She posts this is what I call branding. You want to post content that goes around your topic. So it can't just be about yourself because that might go drive you crazy. You might want to share stuff with your friends. So with that, I follow the 80-20 rule. So if you're an artist, photographer, musician, or any time in the creative business, you have to do the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 is your profession, the content that gets the traffic, ultimately what gets the most likes, whether it's booty pics or slime videos, right? Now 20% has to be you. This 20% is typically selfies, lifestyle, and vlogging. I would follow the 80-20 rule whenever you're posting so people know who you are as a brand, and not only that, people know you as a person, not just your work. And it's crucial you build relationships by doing the 80-20 rule. So that's what I used to do a lot, and it really helped me grow. So we're gonna go on with our day. Give you guys another tip at the very end, so make sure you say it at the end. Let me know if you have a question. This is my Instagram right here. Drop a comment right now with your question. I'll look back immediately. And now I'm gonna go get my Uber. We're gonna go to my friend Macy. You're gonna meet her. And then after that, we're gonna do a little Q and A about Instagram. I'm gonna surprise my friend. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Me and Macy, 
I just feel like I relate to this girl so much. You guys know I mentioned her before, but I like to watch her What I Eat In A Day's video. She's a YouTuber. And then we both have a struggle with, um... I mean, what are you gonna say? Just... Shit, we can't take shit. It. <laughs> you guys were wondering on my story why I was, like, having a shot in my breakfast. That's why. That's LA things. That's LA, honestly. Tyler, do guys experience this or this is not a problem? No. I've like three times. See, my dad is the same way. I don't understand. Is it just a girl thing? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I think it's part stress. Like, it's not actually what you eat. It's totally part stress. It's always stress. Anyways, <laughs> let's no more shit talk. Um, get it? <laughs> we'll do that a little later. So let's go do the drive on the hills. See you on the drive. <laughs> okay, so this video is actually about Instagram tips slash vlog. So we're going to insert now a footage of me and Macy just talking and vibing. Okay? Just vibing. <laughs> Short life story. What do you do? So I have a YouTube channel and it's all about kind of it's my eating disorder recovery It's also kind of just my daily life So like the thing with Macy a lot of you guys were saying like hey Jay I can't influence because I don't have enough followers and I we like literally we're both like every time you get to a point You, you still think it's like not big enough for every point you get to it's not good enough. And, like, I would take thousand like not good enough When can you sell your product? Even if you're small and I feel like brands right now send us a lot of stuff I'm anyone <laughs> we feel like we can't charge people or we can't we're not big enough to sustain their brand But we're talking more about like, you know How much can you price yourself like or what brands should you really work with and why you're not growing because the thing about like Macy is like We get it like if we post a video that's like not related to what we got popular like it's just what we it's got It's not gonna here. work. It's literally we were literally just talking about that like my subscribers on my channel they know what they're gonna get they know what they expect and they know what they need out of me and that's why they hit subscribe so they think they're gonna get a what i eat in a day full day of eating they like i knew that i wanted to start beelining into fashion on my channel that i could not just go from a full day of eating but then throw in like a try on bikini haul yeah like no. they would like, literally be like what is this so i spent literally months thinking about how i could integrate the two how i could integrate the two and i didn't put up one if it didn't make sense don't put up a video if it doesn't make sense if it, like and in contrary put it up if you want like whatever makes you happy oh yeah if you want to just don't it, complain but don't complain if yeah. it's not getting as many right. views like i feel like people think like okay especially for life okay don't get me started with the lifestyle style brand like, people get popular for one video and they do the complete opposite and they question why am i growing it's like, I feel like most of the things we talk about are common sense. And I feel like you guys are nice people and we're yelling because we're excited. We're just but, yelling, um, we're, I feel like we just are like that. We yeah, talk so fast sure. and so loud. That's Tyler, by the way. What's up, y'all? We're getting ready for uh, dinner, right? Dinner. But we're, so far, we're But like, chatting. I just get sucked into these conversations because I feel like I have a lot of friends that are fashion Instagram bloggers. I can never say that without quotes because like, oh, you're an Instagram, some people okay, are Instagram yes. bloggers without a blog. But, they ask me, like I've literally been asked by them, like how do you get people to comment on your stuff? Like how do you get them to watch or to care? And I swear guys, like you just, like the second, and if I could just give my biggest tip in the world, the second right. that you start realizing that it's not about you and that it's about them will be your epiphany aha moment. The second you open your mind to that if you want something from your subscribers, your viewers, that they need to be getting something from you. Like why would they want, why would they want to give you anything if you're not giving them anything? Going no to the grocery store or whatever you're doing, no like if you're not giving them anything. So what's you to that is look at the content, your 100 posts, 200, whatever. How much of it is actually for you or how much is actually for your audience? I'm telling you, it's gonna be scary that the percentage of 90% of your content is just about yourself and it's selfies. So if you can look, cause like I was looking at my content, like how much is about me, how much is about them? Yeah, selfie it doesn't tell me much of a story. I need an Instagram caption story. I need to be mesmerized. Oh, yeah. I need to be pulled in. If you look at me, follow Macy. So she has like paragraphs, which I love. It's the best I way. I swear to God, guys, I was at the point where like I was uh, like seven months ago posting these pictures of my outfit. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so good at fashion. Why does no one want to look at my outfits? Why does no one want to like it? Why does no one want to comment? <laughs> you can only like think something's cute so much. When you tell someone a story, they're looking at your post. They don't want to get off your post. They want to read to the end of your post. They Make sure your face is in it. So a lot of you guys maybe are doing like screenshots or you're, doing, you're reposting other content. Yeah, that just be you and that will help you and if you're not comfortable with camera start a blog this is basic shit you know and like a lot of guys are forcing what you can't do if you're not good on camera get the fuck out and like yeah that's <laughs> how i and like yeah and like right, just don't yes. let it sound nice don't talk so fast <laughs> I 
just finished dinner and it was very yum. But like, I'll be very honest. You say that's a delicate thing. You don't. I, I'm, I'm, I'm loaded. loaded. I'm constipated. No, I just say I haven't shit in a while. Like, there's a huge market I feel like we haven't talked about, which is the constipated community. The constipated, like constipated community here. Girls, listen to me. I want to let you know. I thought this was unnormal. It is normal. Okay. It is very normal. All, this is so random. I'm so sorry. Just like, relax. Relax. Like, don't stress about your Instagram followers. This is the most beautiful dog ever. ever seen. Look at that fucking dog. Oh my god, I just dropped my own dharmanature.com slash shop. Oh my god. Can I give a testimony? No, what do you think? Quality, honestly, feel the quality. Like, it's nice, right? So thick. So, so thick. So and like, good. honestly, I feel it, Tyler. Oh, that's, that's, that's thick. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you shop at dharmanature.com and get yourself the merch before it runs out. Thanks for supporting. See ya!